Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Hansen. A pleasure to meet you. This is a quick video to introduce myself to welcome you to our Chemistry 3750 class, Organic Chemistry 1, here at Western Michigan University. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself, give you a quick tour of your virtual classroom, and just share some tips and tricks for success. So again, welcome, Organic Chemistry 1. Let me tell you a little bit about myself, beginning with my teaching experience. I'm at Western Michigan University, came in, um, well golly, it must have been August of 2019. From uh, Western Michigan, uh, my prior experience was down south actually at the University of Southern Mississippi, also as a faculty specialist in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. And I was at that university in Long Beach, Mississippi, right on the Gulf Coast. It was so beautiful for five years. There truly is something about Southern hospitality. But I'm homesick. I'm a Michigan gal through and through. So when the job opened at Western, I jumped at the chance. And lucky me, I'm uh, back at Western Michigan and appreciating the beauty of our home state. I am a retired school teacher from Brees Puffer Schools, which is in Muskegon area. I had 30 years and retired with full service. I've also had several adjunct positions throughout my tenure, including working all online at the following universities, Thomas Edison, Life University, Michigan Virtual University, and even Baker College of Muskegon. I have experience of over 37 years teaching face-to-face, -face, fully online, and even a hybrid of the two. You are in a position with a very experienced faculty member. My education, my highest degree that I've earned is a specialist in chemistry education from Central Michigan back in 1996. My master's in chemistry is in chem ed, so my specialty, my research area, is in the education using research-based strategies to ensure success for all students. My Bachelor's of Science is in Chemistry with a Biology minor, and I began at Michigan State University with a Pre-Pharmacy degree um, back in, gosh, 1986, I believe that was. I did go through pharmacy school at Ferris State University. I did not um, end up practicing pharmacy, but instead went into teaching at the high school level, retired, and then moved up to the university level. And I have been enjoying thoroughly every component of my career. Let's begin in talking about your course, the course that we are working on together. Our class modality is 100% asynchronous online, but I can assure you that our virtual classroom in e-learning is very robust. It uses research-based best practices. I've created a learning environment that promotes success for all students. I'm going to encourage you, if you haven't yet, to open your virtual classroom in e-learning and start taking a tour. Begin by perusing through the Start Here module. The Start Here module and just kind of sharing that this is a screenshot, not a live version of it. But you can see that the table of contents lists all the different modules as you read down the page, right? So starting with the table of contents, I'd like you to begin actually with this Start Here module up at the top. When you open the Start Here module, you will see a list of tasks to complete. It's an introductory module giving you critically important information necessary to understand the expectations of the course. So you'll find my welcome video. I'd like to encourage you to watch the TED Talk video, Don't Be Afraid of Organic Chemistry. I know you either love or hate TED Talk, but this is really a good, and it's very short, but it really will put you in the right mood to learn organic chemistry. You'll also see the course syllabus. Read through it very carefully. Print the course calendar. Read through the study tips for chemistry students. Enroll in your homework site called Wiley Plus. Read the information re regarding our proctoring service called Respondus. You might be familiar with Respondus from previous courses as well. 
There is an assessment to complete in the Start Here module. That's the syllabus quiz. So after reading the syllabus, you may choose to print it out and leave it on your desk, or you may you know, choose to have it as a digital copy up on your screen. The respondus, um, you know, the purpose of the syllabus quiz, not only to just check in and make sure we have the same understanding of classroom policies, but to make sure that you have your respondus account working and activated prior to our first chapter one quiz. So it's kind of a dual purpose. And I also want you to download and practice using the Cam Scanner app where you can take your phone and turn it into a digital scanner to create a single document in PDF form for uploading your assignments. So again, the Start Here module is going to give you all of the lists of tasks to complete. Notice also then as you scroll down, each one of those tasks will flow in order. So again, you're watching right now the welcome video from Mrs. Hansen. Underneath this, you know, so just kind of think of this as a checklist. I did this, now I'm ready to do the next task. Watch the TED Talk. I'm going to read the course syllabus. I am going to open the course calendar and print it and leave this on your desk so that you do not miss any of the deadlines. I give you examples of note-taking assignments that have earned full credit, partial credit, or no credit to give you a good idea of what I'm looking for when I assign notes. Here's some study tips, suggestions for, for earning an A, for achieving your academic goals. Here's the information on Respondus, how to use the Cam Scanner app, launch your syllabus quiz, and then underneath this, this is where you'll find the Wiley information. This is our homework site. So if you would like to launch the e-text, if you would like to check your grades, if you need support in Wiley, and this link in the bottom brings you directly to the assignments. Now in each chapter module, I have a link that will bring you directly to each chapter as well. This link would allow you to enroll in our course directly. You must enroll in Wiley directly from this link. You won't be able to go to Wiley from the external site and try to find a class code. I've embedded the two so they articulate. Our virtual classroom in eLearning will automatically launch your Wiley assignments when you click on the link here. All of these tasks that you can complete and become familiar with the policies and study strategies for our class together. To kind of continue with that, the next module down under the start here, you're going to learn about information regarding your LA review sessions and the bonus points that are available for attending. So take your time and read through the Dropbox directions for attending and submitting your notes as you attend your LA review sessions. Now our LA will be introducing herself to you for summer session, it's Aaliyah Brandon. For fall session, I have not yet been assigned. So please, if this is fall semester, you'll need to come back and check who has been assigned for the LA. For summer section, I already know that it's Aaliyah and I am so thrilled, she is just awesome. When you attend and take rigorous notes from the LA review session, you're going to drop those notes into this um, drop box immediately following each session. You know, so every time a session concludes, mm -hmm. upload your notes and you'll earn a bonus point that's described for you in the test taking section. Again, more information in the syllabus. Be careful, uh, uh, you know, be a good reader, a careful reader of your syllabus to make sense of how to attend and earn bonus points for LA review sessions. You'll notice then that the next link under your table of contents begins content, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and so forth. I just wanted to quickly give a tour of what each module would look like in each chapter. So I just took an example of the first chapter, took a screenshot of it, and kind of the flow of each chapter will begin with the chapter overview. It's going to describe for you what are we learning? 
you know, so in chapter one, we'll be reviewing some relevant concepts from general chemistry. It should be familiar to you, but we all know that perhaps it's a little bit rusty. How long ago did you take Gen Chem? For some students, it might have been as early as this spring, or it might have been a few years ago. So we're all starting on a different level, but we've got to kind of bring back some important topics from Gen Chem 1. So that's our first chapter. You'll also notice that you'll see the learning outcomes under each chapter as well. So it's a list of I will, you know, the learner outcomes means these are the statements that you will be tested on. Read those and go, yes, I can do that. Yes, I can do that. Oh, I better practice this one a bit more. It's like your study outline for your quizzes and tests. Each one of the activities and assessment checklists will include the following. Each chapter will assign a handwritten outline from the posted videos in your textbook. You'll need to complete your homework assignment in Wiley. Again, those are from directly from your textbook using the skills builder, you know, the little questions that are inserted directly into the, the chapter. And then you'll complete a proctored multiple choice quiz and you'll learn that there are two attempts on each quiz with the highest score remaining. I'd like to emphasize in each chapter, the very first link you'll find is a muddiest point discussion forum. As you're listening to your videos, as you're reading your text, kind of practicing the content, do you have a question that you'd like answered or a topic that you'd like further practice with? Start a new thread and ask it in this discussion forum. Your learning assistant, as well as myself, will do our best to keep track of all questions as they appear in this Muddiest Point discussion forum. Please put a topic, the title of their topic, as the title of the thread so we can quickly know without having to click and open the question to figure out what it's about. Please do your best to describe the topic in the title of the thread so that as students are reading through, oh, you know, I have a, a, a similar question or the same question. I'm going to click on that link and see the conversation. The, the wonderful thing about this is it allows communication between classmates. Imagine sitting in a classroom face to face and being able to turn to a classmate and say, oh, did you have that same question or, or could you explain it better or, you know, Instead of just one way emailing back and forth between the professor and a student, it opens up the opportunity for classmate conversation. This is not a graded assignment. You do not need to post something, but I'm encouraging you to ask questions in this forum if they arise. Your peer instructor, you know, your LA, Alea in the summer, and I'm not quite sure who yet in the fall, but what will happen there is that as we review and see repetitive content come up, we'll be sure to include those in the peer uh, LA review sessions. So that's the muddiest point. Again, each chapter will have its own muddiest point forum. So kind of keep those questions within each chapter to kind of help us keep organized. The next link that you find in this chapter, in every chapter, I'm just using chapter one as a, an example, you'll find a link to your e-text. Now you may have a hard copy, that's a preference, or some of you might have bought an e-text along with your Wiley uh, access code. So if you have access to the e-text, here's a link that will bring you right to chapter one's reading. So again, I would recommend starting with previewing the text. Then dive into Mrs. Hansen's lecture videos. You will see that there are anywhere from three, four, or five posted videos depending on the length and the meatiness of that chapter. So um, as you listen to my very detailed video lessons, it's equivalent to attending class and taking notes. You are going to be rewarded for taking detailed notes by submitting them into the Dropbox for grading. And please read through carefully in the syllabus, look at the examples I provided up in the Start Here module to know what A plus quality notes look like. Video one, you're going to hear me talk about Cornell note taking. Cornell is a method, a very specific outline format. At one point I required students to do it this way, but 
just based on feedback from students, they, they would rather have a little freedom and independence of choosing the best note taking method that works best for, for them. So I'm, I'm allowing you to do that. Cornell note taking method, even though you'll hear me talk about it in video one, it's not a requirement for the course. It's just an artifact that's still in the video from a previous semester. You're very welcome to follow that format or whatever note taking works best for you. The requirements is that it must be handwritten. Now, if you, like me, have a stylus on your computer and you can write digitally on your um, screen, you may certainly take your notes handwritten by writing them on the screen as well and just submitting them from your, um, from your own you know, version of that Dropbox. So again, digital notes are fine, but they have to be handwritten. Underneath the videos, you may find supplemental videos that I place in there, just extra, I mean, there are a ton of great video authors out there. Um, the Organic Chemistry Tutor, Leia for Science. Um, you can find Khan Academy, all kinds of great authors. So I sometimes will include them as well. Um, but you, again, you are not required to watch other authors, but you are required to watch my own videos as equivalent as you're required to come to class. Kind of just continuing down, you see other links, things that are for convenience. I give you a copy of the lecture PowerPoint. If you'd like to follow along uh, and write on the slides with me, you can choose to do that or just write on your own paper. The Vesper chart is given to you as a convenience. Additional videos. Here is the Dropbox that you'll be placing your um, handwritten notes into. Remember using the cam scanner. You're going to take a, a picture using your phone of each page, press save once at the end and create a PDF, upload the PDF to the Dropbox. From there, you'll notice that you have other um, helpful videos. They're linked to your homework and then your chapter quiz. So kind of just start at the top of the module and work your way down and just check completed as you start from top to bottom. Launch your homework, launch your quiz, launch your drop boxes all through the module itself to help you avoid clicking a wrong link. All right, you'll get the hang of it. The flow of the class, very consistent. Part of the syllabus talks about pathways to success, and I just wanted to highlight a few ideas to make sure that we're on the same page of my expectations. Pathways to success really boils down to time management, right? This class is going to take a ton of time. Learning organic chemistry requires repetition, practice, 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 then more repetition, then more practice, practice, practice. If your pencil isn't moving, you really aren't studying. Please take the time to go into your syllabus and read these tips, how to succeed in organic chemistry. Every one of these, and it goes down through uh, 14, 14 tips for success, read through them carefully and commit to doing the work. I won't read this to you, I just wanted to highlight, here is the pathway that you can follow and have the, you know, the, the outcome of academic success. And friends, I just wanna leave you with this. My mission is to support each and every one of you working very hard at helping you find your pathway to success. I take it personally, and if you are struggling, please, please, please reach out. Don't wait until you've fallen so far behind that you become overwhelmed. Feeling overwhelmed leads to anxiety, leads to even worse performance. Advocate for yourself, reach out when necessary, take advantage of every single tool that I provided for you. And together, I am confident we can reach your academic goals. As always, with any questions, please feel free to email me. Hey, thanks for listening, and let's have a great term.